Hello and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of March. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. As ever, I'm going to give you a broad overview of what to expect, but please stay with me because I then will dive deep into each of the 12 zodiac signs and give you in forensic detail an idea of what to expect. Now the sign of Pisces is very much the end of the astral journey and next week the sun is going to be moving through the vernal point and we start through the spring equinox uh, the new astral year. So collectively I think for a lot of us this week particularly is a time to really get in touch with our deeper feelings and that could see us feeling a little bit nostalgic we may want to withdraw a little bit and find some peace and tranquility. Any place that's near to nature or water can be particularly healing. Now, of course, Mercury moved into the sign of Pisces last week too. Technically debilitated, but brilliant if you want to write a song, share your feelings uh, through a poem, or just think of the creative strands that help you to express the corners of your feelings which are much less based on the practical sphere. But we do have on Friday a full moon, a full moon in the practical Virgo. So that full moon asks us to balance the energy of the new moon that occurred earlier this month which of course embraced the buoyancy of Jupiter to find a balance between those more ethereal energies of Pisces and the more practical reality of Virgo. So if you do find yourself feeling that you want to be in a much more spiritual or healing dimension, I think your timing is impeccable this week, but the Virgo energy is saying to try and integrate it into the more physical way that you're leading your life. So if escapism really appeals to you this week, that full moon is saying important to consider issues like nutrition, exercise, life organization, and just making sure that we see tangible progress. So we can all float off a little bit with this Pisces energy, but that can make it all the more evocative. Now on the back of that full moon, Pluto from the middle of this week is angling into the sun, but it's in a very positive way in a sextile. The sun sextile in Pluto can see internal changes or physical changes in our reality. A sextile 60 degrees constructive. But also from the middle of the week, the glorious alliance between Venus and Mars, fantastic for socialising, that comes into an abrasive right angle with uh, Uranus, the planet of uh, truth, but also of freedom. And the freedom fighter is now in a sign or has been for some while, that it's not so comfortable in the sign of Uranus. Now, of course, world peace has been shattered recently. The last time Uranus was in Taurus uh, began in 1937, I think. And of course, that followed with the Second World War. So a lot of turbulence in the world. And I think next week, after the vernal equinox, Mars does come into an exact square with Uranus, which can be tested, particularly in terms of very sudden, unexpected, and uh, very sort of uh, forceful events are possible. But in our own situation, the combination of Venus and Mars in Aquarius is very much about our higher values. And Uranus rules the sign of Aquarius, so there is a kind of it's the modern ruler. So there's a kind of receptiveness. So when it comes to our financial affairs, which is the physical plane of Taurus, I think it's best not to be too idealistic. So for example, if a friend, very Aquarius, suggests getting involved in some kind of get rich quick scheme and you feel the impulse to join in, I'd just slow down because Uranus squaring Venus and Mars can make us very, very, uh, a, a very uh, sudden in our movements, much more impulsive. But equally, we may be drawn to someone in our group that we find very attractive, and this could happen in quite a, a sudden way, 
or we may, in a romantic relationship, want to engender greater excitement and spontaneity in it. So things have been getting a little bit too dull and predictable. A great time to try to inject a little bit of devilment into the situation by doing something together which just creates a little bit of excitement and can reignite the spark that you had when you first met. So that's the overall pattern for us all. If you are new to my channel, I would be uh, delighted if you would subscribe. Please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. Also, if you'd like to get your free written daily horoscope fire to your device each morning, please see the link below. And you can get your 12 month forecast and character analysis based on your personal astrology, time, date and place of birth and ascend above this zodiac broadcast by seeing the link below and get 30% off with my special offer package. Hello Leo and welcome to your weekly horoscope for week commencing the 14th of March. A whole cluster of energy, a stellium, is in the sign of Pisces. Pisces energy is very dreamy, it can be very compassionate and caring, but also it can be profoundly detached. It has a kind of duality to it, I feel. But Mercury being in the sign of Pisces, although it is technically debilitated, actually gives you a real gift for getting beneath the surface and trying to understand what's really going on rather than what appears to be going on. And one of the big practical strands of this week is your long-term financial situation. The full moon on Friday suggests that if you do need to toggle to deal with the cost of living crisis that we're all faced with, to cut down a little bit in terms of your everyday uh, expenditure, then that can be a very smart thing to do because Pluto is forging a brilliantly transformational link to the Sun. And because for you this pack of energy in Pisces is very Scorpionic and Pluto is the co-ruler, the modern ruler of Scorpio, transformation around where you're most invested emo emotionally, spiritually, practically, relationship-wise, transformation around those areas is a, a possible part of this week because the eighth house can be an area where things can deepen and get stronger and more rooted or it's where they can come to a close so it's quite a pivot between ends and beginnings now venus and mars are forging a very charismatic combination in your sector of relationships which on the face of it really is great and can help you to interact with people with great skill the kind of balance between your drive and setting your boundaries with Mars and being more diplomatic and harmonizing with Venus. But Uranus for midweek is right at the top of your scope. So if there's any kind of relationship that isn't working so well for you, it's going to be much harder to hide your feelings. You generally don't like your personal business or dramas to be known by others because it's important for you to protect your vulnerabilities through maintaining your poise and outer uh, charm. But I think Uranus could push something into the open that's a bit more difficult. And if something does need to make way in your world, just remember it will be replaced eventually by something that's much more in keeping with your deepest needs.